Welcome back, I'm Quinnin, and today we're going to be doing the next part to the pawn game in Python. So, today we're going to be doing adding the paddle club. This is kind of where we left it off last time. We had the ball bouncing around the screen, and we had the window displaying. We were using the terminal to compile it. This code is the same on Windows and Linux. The only difference is this capital T here goes from a capital to a little t in Windows. So, today we're going to be doing the player class or the paddle. We're, we're just going to call it the paddle. So we say class paddle. Do some pull-ins at the end of that. Oh, and then the next line, once again, tabbing is very important. We type df two underscores. Type in it as an initiate. And then same sort of thing as we did up here in the ball in the ball class. And then we type self comma canvas comma and color. We end uh, the brackets and add the quotations there. And now the next line, once again, we want to do same sort of, always gotta remember the tabbing. So then we say self.canvas, canvas equals canvas. So saying that self.canvas just equals canvas, which kind of shortens things down. And then we say self.id equals canvas.create. And then underscore, in this case, it's going to be a, recta a rectangle. So R E C T in angle. First, we're giving the X and Y coordinates of where we want to place a ball. So we're going to, we're just going to say 200 by, we'll say, so that's 200 across by 200 down. So that should be significantly lower than the ball when it starts out. And then we'll say, that it's a, we'll give the paddle 100 width, a width of 100, and a height of 20. And then we'll do the same thing as with the ball, fill equals color, and the parentheses. So after that we do self.canvas.move, self.id, and here we're going to set our coordinates again. So let's say 300 across by 200 down. So self.x equals zero. Oop. And self.y also equals zero. Self.canvas underscore height, height equals self.can this dot win info as in win info underscore height. So this is basically the same sort of thing, same code that we used to set up the uh, ball class. There's not really, there's not a whole lot of difference for this first part. In the next video, we'll be doing the um, player player input and everything like that. Here we're just changing the height to width in the next line. So now that we've got that all set up, we just need to add add some the paddle down here. So we say player equals paddle, same sort of thing as what we did with the ball there. So we say canvas, and then we're going to give it the color of blue. So we're just going to run the program a second here. So type python main.py in the terminal hit enter and we've got our paddle here it's a little bit unproportioned and we've got our ball all right change this to 100 and then change the second one to 20 as well try that and also in this line just notice this we got a slight typo we have instead of width it's we want to change that to th instead of ht so save that rerun the program and again okay we now it's tiny probably safe to go with 400 there there so we've got our paddle here we're going to have to readjust where we put it like readjust the positioning on that because we want it on the bottom screen here We'll probably have to make this window a little bit larger here because this is pretty small. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. We'll also get this paddle moving so that when you press left arrow key and right arrow key, then 
the paddle moves from left to right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate every subscriber. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.